Rising interest rates and Russia's war in Ukraine will continue to weigh on the global economy this year. However, economists are more upbeat than they were a few months ago. According to the International Monetary Fund, global growth will slow from 3.4% in 2022 to 2.9% in 2023. This is an increase from the 2.7% forecast in October. The improved outlook reflects China's sudden reopening, which, according to the IMF, paves the way for a rapid rebound in activity. It also mentioned unexpected resilience in many economies in the second half of 2022, as well as an improvement in global financial conditions as inflation begins to ease and the U.S. dollar falls from its highs. Official data released on Tuesday revealed that Europe's economy managed to grow in the fourth quarter of 2022. GDP growth in Eurozone countries was 0.1% in the third quarter of this year, easing concerns about a recession. The outlook is less bleak than in our October forecast and could mark a turning point, with growth bottoming out and inflation declining, IMF Research Director Pierre-Olivier Garinches wrote in a blog post. According to the IMF, growth this year will remain weak by historical standards. The annual average was 3.8% between 2000 and 2019. Central banks will need to maintain their aggressive campaign to reduce decades-long high inflation, which will slow economic activity. It forecasted that 9 out of 10 advanced economies will most likely slow. Growth in the United States is forecast to slow from 2% in 2022 to 1.4% in 2023. Europe's economy, which has proven surprisingly resilient despite the region's energy crisis, is expected to contract from 3.5% to 0.7% among the 20 countries that use the euro. UK outlook deteriorates. The United Kingdom's economy is expected to contract by 0.6%. It is the only group of seven economy that is expected to contract this year. A closely watched executive survey released last week revealed the steepest drop in business activity since the national COVID lockdown two years ago. Higher interest rates and low consumer confidence are dampening activity in the dominant services sector, while the public sector is experiencing its worst wave of strikes in decades. Nonetheless, the IMF sees some signs of improvement in the global outlook. China is a major factor. Late last year, Beijing ended its strict zero-COVID policy, reopening its borders and abandoning the harsh quarantine and testing policies that had stifled growth in the world's second-largest economy. Its 3% growth rate in 2022 was one of the country's worst in decades. The IMF now expects China's growth to rebound to 5.2% this year, significantly higher than its previous forecast. Inflationary trends are also encouraging. The IMF stated that overall measures are now decreasing in most countries, despite the fact that price increases for goods and services other than food and energy have yet to peak in many cases. The headline annual reading of U.S. inflation reached a high in June, while European inflation has been falling since October, when it reached a high record. The IMF expects global inflation to fall from 8.8% in 2022 to 6.6% .6 in 2023 and 4.3% in 2024. It was around 3.5% prior to the pandemic. Meanwhile, a decline in the strength of the US dollar since November has been beneficial to emerging market and developing economies. The sharp rise in the value of the dollar has made it more expensive to import commodities such as food and energy, as well as pay interest on some debt. The IMF warned that risks to the outlook remain significant. If future coronavirus outbreaks keep people at home or the vulnerable property sector slows sharply, China's recovery could falter. Inflation may remain high for longer than central banks would like, necessitating tighter monetary policy. Ukraine's war is still ongoing. For the time being, however, it is feeling slightly better about the next 12 months while emphasizing that they will not be easy. The global economic outlook has not worsened this time, Gorinches wrote.
That's encouraging, but it's not enough. The road to full recovery, with sustainable growth, stable prices, and progress for all, has only just begun.